What's this? What do we have here? A photo? Who's leaving these? And who are you? I'm going to email a digital picture of this to my computer, so I can look at it later. I wonder who she is. That will take me to the map of downtown Boston. My office and other places of interest are there. Let's see what's new today. Hey, Erica. Sully? Davies told me that she had to leave as soon as she got here, to let you know. Thank you. She said she needed to talk to you about that antique you found yesterday. How did she know? Terrence. Yeah, she was mostly talking to herself. You know how she does that. She had a similar piece or something. Really? Interesting. Need to see this thing. I'm sure. Are you avoiding me? Sully, I have 10,000 things in my head. Sure, you want to grab... Not today, Sully. I really am busy. Maybe some other day? Yeah, you got a hell of a case. By the way, you left your jacket at my place the other night. I can bring it by, or maybe you could... Yeah. Bring it by. Sure, no problem. All right. I got the woman's photo here. Now let's see what I can find. Reed, Terence mentioned to me that you had found a piece of an antique last night at the crime scene. I was sent one anonymously last week. I gave it to Terence. It's not the first weird thing I've gotten lately, either. But I wrote them off up until last night. I'll show it all to you when I get back later today. For now, I have to go take a look at something important. Davies. What does she have in her office? I have to get into Davies' office somehow. Hey, babe. We haven't spent time together in a while. I was wondering if you'd like to rent a movie and watch it at my place this weekend. Sully. Sully... How many times do I have to tell you not to call me Babe? Cool. I could use a couple hours away from all this. Figures. Dad avoids visiting Scott. Maybe that's why he decided to bury him there so that he could be as far away from his memory as possible.
The case database. I can... For any details that can tell me who this woman is. Hmm, what is that on her bracelet? Her name? Sarah. All right. I should be able to use that if I want to cross-reference it with something. Exactly what it says. A peep. I don't have anyone to search for right now. I already have what I need. This is her! The woman from that picture. Let's see... I remember a little about this case. Davies and Sully handled it. Hmm. And she was buried at Mount Auburn Cemetery. Same as Scott. One evidence form coming up. I don't need to request any evidence right now. Let's see what this gets me. I have a request for you. Yeah? I'm looking for some evidence on a case from a couple of years back. Well, aren't you in luck? We just moved archives from the past three years back here. Anything further back, uh, it'll be a nightmare. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be around. Do you have your evidence form? Here you go. All right, just one minute. There are more tapes, but this was all I could find. Okay, thank you. Hey, Sully. So, you change your mind about lunch? No. I need to ask you something. What is it? I found your name on a case and I need details. You remember anything about Sarah Goodman? How can I forget? That was my first case, when McAdams was still in charge. I took the case with Davies. Why did the FBI take the case? Because of the husband. He refused to believe it was a suicide. He had some important and powerful friends, and he got pulled into it. How did it go down? Uh, the husband had left for a business trip. He was always abroad. When he came back this time, he found his wife hanging in their condo, and immediately notified the police. How did the case get handed off to the FBI? The detective on the case immediately ruled it a suicide. The husband made some calls, and before you know it, Davies and I were driving to the scene. So you were there at the crime scene? Yeah, it was wicked awful. The woman had been dead for a while. Nothing like that for your first real case. Not that it was much of a case, or so Davies thought. <laughs> 